Hey, welcome to Santa Barbara. Yes, we are celebrating anniversary number two. Number two, isn't it three? It feels it like it sometimes. It was test. Oh, really? Oh, was that long and dreary? No, it feels like we've known each other for a long That's time. That's true. That's good save. Good save. <laughs> Here we are in Santa Barbara. This is a conversation, an anniversary conversation with Carl and Latanya. Yes. And of course, you know that I'm I'm actually Latanya, and that's Carl. It's so beautiful out here. I'm thinking it's gonna be all cold and everything, and I got all this sweater and it's hot. <laughs> Only in California, <laughs> <laughs> sitting at the beach, when I could really be wearing a swimsuit out here. Seriously. Yeah, you want to wear a swimsuit? Just take all your clothes off. Yeah. Oh gosh. Later. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, so, we want to talk about and reflect upon our two years together. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, just say a few things. You want to go first? No, I'll go first. Well, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just glad. I'm happy. I like things simple. And uh, any of you who know me, and especially my husband's learning this about me even more, is that I am a person of peace and simplicity and light and. That's why we're out here <laughs> on our second anniversary. I don't want anything heavy. I just want to be with him. Him? Yeah, that would be me. That's... Yeah. And and we're good. That's all I need. And I want to be with you too. That's why I'm here. Good. Thank you. So you know, um, so I, I I'm reflecting on the fact and speaking of what Latanya is talking about, you know, simple. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes. Um, we talk about, you know, men being the leaders and, you know, the king and the wife is the queen and she is under yet equal. And it's just a different role, it's not less than. And to give an example of that, when I look at Latanya's life, I don't know, I, you can speak for yourself, but I look at my life and my life is so changed. <laughs> it's like <laughs> the way I eat and stuff, like, you know, hostess orange cupcakes. <laughs> no. I used to love Hostess orange cupcakes. Now, if I look at them, I have this visceral reaction like, no, don't eat those. <laughs> I cannot eat those things anymore. You know, all this, and you know, Pepsi Cola. I used to love Pepsi. Mm -hmm. I don't drink, I had a Pepsi today. I had one today because I was being rebellious, but I can't, I can't drink the whole bottle. I just drank half the bottle. Yeah, I let him say, I'm like, go ahead, knock yourself out. <laughs> McDonald's, thing in the past. Ugh, yeah, no McDonald's. <laughs> so, you know, the influence of a wife, and we just pray that she's a good wife, that she has your, your best interest at heart for real and not seeking her interests and masking it like it's for you, yeah. is really uh, an incredible thing to have. And I was um, at a, a, a gathering with some friends, some male friends last night, and we were talking about the virtues of marriage. There were two of us who were married and the others who were not married, and I was talking to them about how important it is for men especially, I think even more so than, than women, based upon what I just said about the influence for the positive, you know, mm -hmm. to have a wife, you know. and some of the, live longer. Yeah, and some of the guys <laughs> pushed back, but then when we explained why, I think they got it. But the main thing is that you got to know who you are, brothers. You got to know who you are, why God put you here, and what God put you here to do. Yep. And once you know that for sure, when you start trying to choose a wife, you will choose a wife who is connected. So you'll know what you need. Exactly. Because mm -hmm. you don't know that, if you're not, or if you know it and you're not sure. Like I was kind of wobbly. I've always known, but I was wobbly. <laughs> and when you're wobbly, you be picking folk who may be good people, but really not don't get you, you yeah. and they aren't good for you and they will destroy you before they destroy themselves. And I've seen lots of dudes go to the hell house <laughs> and have a whole lot less than they had before they brought the woman in which by the way <laughs> if you marry a woman and you have a lot less than you had before you married her the proof's in the pudding and yeah. it's it's the brother's fault for sure but the evidence of the value of that woman is seen right there but it's yeah. ultimately up to the brother so i'm just happy to have you in my life and i know that god is doing amazing things with us and we'll do more and I'm grateful to be in the midst of many other couples who are really 
um, having an incredible time as Mary's and witnessing that to many others who are hopeful in that area and we hope to do more and we just thank you yeah. for, for watching our videos and just for being a part of our I'm lives I'm going to do, well. I think just because of what I'm seeing and definitely it's called for, I'm going to have to do more workshops and seminars on um, just to help the ladies because there's a lot of situations that we put ourselves into um, that we don't want to submit ourselves to and it's not so much submission the way you normally think about it um, and that you, if you hear the word submission what goes off in you something hard something horrible yeah. <laughs> your it's reaction better. is just like oh, oh I ain't doing that you know you even take it out of the marriage vows it's gone yeah <laughs> but um it's it's not so much that it's it's realizing it's it's almost a physical thing. Like I say in the book, it's in a man's DNA. What book is that? What Your Mama Never Knew About Men. Well, no, <laughs> but, available at Amazon.com, but I <laughs> Shameless plug. Shameless. But that's the first thing in my book. Men are made totally different than we mm -hmm. are. I even saw a lady on Steve Harvey yesterday with her laundry list <laughs> of do's and don'ts and the requirements of who she would date. And she's been single for like nine years because her list was so long and stupid. But one thing on her list was, he can't be stronger than me. Can't have six pack abs. Okay, yeah, the whole <laughs> list totally spoke about her insecurities. But if you don't want your man to be stronger than you, you got some serious problems because they are, period. I don't care how many steroids you take and weights you lift, a man is stronger because he's made that way. You know, I, I, and you're I, you not know. supposed to be all I do appreciate her honesty because it rather, I'd better her say that than the, the want a man to be stronger, but then you act like you want to be stronger in your behavior and you overpower him with your strength, yeah. but yet you want him to be stronger. Yeah, you know, she's crazy, but it's crazier though to, to say I want a strong man, but then you're stronger than a man and you overpower him all yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's not going to work yeah, because we're not built that way. Yeah. But and what if, about you? I want to talk about you. What about you? I'm sorry. I'm, I know what? I'm interrupting you, but I want you to talk about, you know, your marriage experience with your testimony. <laughs> I talked about mine. You talked about yours. You talked about yours? I did. Yeah, that's right. You, you talk about yours a lot. Whatever. <laughs> well, I... <laughs> she got me. I realized, too, um, I totally have changed. I'm definitely not the same person I was 10 years ago, uh, five years ago, five minutes ago. <laughs> um, but you grow and you mature and you change. And the first thing I think we all have to do is accept our responsibility. Uh, into whatever reason it is, why a, re a relationship that we had that was serious or committed ended. It takes two to tango. It takes two to make it work. It takes two to end it. You know. My ex thought it was just her. I mean, well, just me. But that's the way a lot of people think when it, you're it was immature all me. It's all my fault. and you're selfish. <laughs> yeah. when it was you all girls' fault. But he when just, you think you can do no wrong, he didn't wrong, want to work. He didn't want to do anything. You know, you're probably the one who is. is the most wrong, <laughs> and the most selfish. <laughs> So I'm sorry, we all have a lot of learning and growing to do and we have to realize that if you want a serious relationship, if you don't want a serious relationship, you don't even need to be listening to us. <laughs> but most people do. And they don't even realize it because they've been hurt so much or had bad examples of We've all been hurt though. Yeah. And so we it takes a hurt. brave, just very strong, courageous person to jump back in there and realize that you don't want to be alone and to try it again. Because what else do you have to lose? You know, that's it. This you, is loneliness. You, you can and lose your sanity. Um, I, when we got married two years ago, two years ago today, it really was not what I thought I'd be doing. Um, Me either. I had <laughs> just gotten out. I was divorced. My divorce was final approximately 13 months before we got married. It was, and it was an 11 year marriage. I know, and it was and a, people thought you were crazy. And it was a very, very, you know, uh, contested, very emotional split. Mm -hmm. So, just to piggyback on what I said earlier about the brothers I hung with yesterday, a lot of these brothers do want to get married, but they're so scared. Yeah. Because of what has happened to them, you know, women who have gotten them put in jail, you know, bad, uh, what do you yeah. call those restraining order situations, you know, yeah. child support, stuff that they, you know, that women have gone to court on them because they've been vindictive and mad about, and now they're in the poorhouse or some sort of crazy legal situation over some humbug. And yeah. so a lot of guys are really freaked out yeah. about doing it again. And yeah. I wasn't in a humbug, well, it wasn't as bad as all that, but it was 
very unnecessary and emotionally taxing on me. And I didn't have to do, I didn't feel like I had to get married again because I just wanted to just live and breathe and relax because it was over. Yeah. And here you come. <laughs> but I'm just saying that You're just what very smart. a blessed, yes I am, <laughs> but what a blessed addition you have been for me because I didn't even know at the time. And folk looked at me, I'm telling you, oh, one yeah, day I'm gonna tell the crazy. whole story. People thought that I was crazy. Why you gotta do that again? Why you do it again? You just Wait, can't you be by yourself? Can't you be by yourself? You can't be by yourself, can you? You what do you call you you're a, a something. They, a, a, what do you call it when you are you can't you gotta always be in a relationship? Which which to me is odd because the Bible says that, that God did not make man to be alone. Yeah. So and I know Every dude I know have problems being by themselves. And ladies, this is something for you to know. You can meet your Prince Charming today, and I'm not trying to put him down, but every man I know has a woman he's involved with on somewhere. some level, somewhere. Some, somewhere. Everyone. <laughs> Everyone. Yeah. So I just knew that for myself, I did not want to have that kind of vicious circle going on, you know, pollinating one woman to the next to the next to the next mm -hmm. in relationship or girlfriend long I just I just didn't want that and God put that in my spirit that you are a husband what happened to you happened because of your choosing your choices for sure and then some things you did in the situation made it worse but you are my son and you are a husband and you are not going to allow that thing to take you away from that role that I have for you. And that's why he sent her. Well, for me. I know what I'm saying? Yeah, and for me, I didn't want to do, I, I just, anybody who knows me closely uh, knows I'm just, the last thing I wanted to do was get married again, even thinking about it. And it's almost like when it drops down into your spirit and your, you trust your intuition, I've never had such an easy decision to make. It scared me. Mm -hmm. It scared me. When you were serious and like, yeah, let's, I was like, whoa. But there was a part of me that was just like, you know what, this seems, this feels right. I don't know. But I was almost, I was bucking against it like, nah, something's wrong because it feels too right. Mm -mm. It feels too right. I was trying to find bad things. I was trying to find something to make me change my mind and snap out of it. But I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I didn't. And as we go along and grow along, I see why we're together. Yes. I definitely see why we're together. And you really, ladies, you really have to trust your intuition because it, it's where God lives and you, you are always divinely guided. You just have to listen. You're such the yin to my yang to too listen. because all the things you're doing with your book and the videos you do, <clears throat> this is what I'm going to talk about and we got to stop. It's like 11 minutes already. People Dirty. will say, what the heck are they talking about all this time? <laughs> but she did a video. Um, a couple of days ago. I didn't know she did the video. I just saw it. I just, sometimes she's like me, I'll shoot something. She'll know I'm doing it. Mm -hmm, and she will yeah. shoot things and I don't know she's doing it. So this particular video was shot last week and I'm watching it and I'm like, I was like, I'm like, what is she? It's like, she's such a bookend in her <laughs> style. Not me. She's doing her. She's doing her. Yep. But it's a bookend to me. Mm -hmm. That's not anything that I could have known two years ago. And I'm going to tell you, I didn't know that two years ago. I, that's what I'm trying to get at. Yeah. Because when I'm watching that video, I'm like, this woman is a freaking Carl bookend. <laughs> She's not Carl, though. It's her. But it's Latanya. I, it's been but it's a me, Carl bookend. Right, but it's been in me all along. Yeah. And I didn't know I had it that way until I met you. That's weird. That's weird. That's the way it works. That's the way it works. Okay. Signing off. Santa, okay, <laughs> all right. It's Carl and Latanya from the shores of Santa Barbara. Yes, beautiful Santa Barbara. On our anniversary, two yes. years. Yes. December 28, 2016 and on forward. We love you. Thank you for watching and uh, keep hope alive. Peace. Love you. To, you know the rest. <laughs> Bye. Out. <laughs>